Okay, well, something I'm really interested in at the moment, um, because I am a practicing artist, I'm really interested in how teachers can use drawing as a way of getting their learners to actually see things. So, you know, you can show an image and uh, or an object and talk about it, but you can also, you know, there are a lot of drawing exercises where the purpose of the drawing exercise is not actually to come up with an amazing drawing, but it's about the process of drawing that actually makes people look very closely at something. And they may see it for the first time in, a, in, a, in an entirely different light. Um, there's lots of sort of examples. For example, you could um, take, for example, the Guernica, Picasso's Guernica, which, or, or another painting that's really quite well known to learners. And um, instead of showing them the, the drawing or the image, you, you know, you describe it and get them to draw it. Uh, or you could uh, get them to put their pencil down on paper and only look at that image and never take their pencil off the paper as a drawing. Or get them looking very closely at the image uh, and never take their eyes off the image to look at what they're drawing. So their hand is following very carefully the eye and so it, it's a form of making them to really, to really see that image very clearly and very carefully. And these are these are techniques that are very, very old techniques that people do who are drawers who have an arts practice and draw a lot. And I think these sorts of ideas can be applied in the language classroom to create really interesting conversations and to really build the art of noticing, which is a very good language learning technique as well.